Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about trigonometric identities and as your teacher for today, allow me to deliver a topic entitled as Proving Trigonometric Identities Made Easy But first and foremost, allow me to introduce myself I am Danilo M. Guzman Jr. and I am very much willing to share my knowledge is about trigonometric identities. But before we start the lesson proper, I am inviting all of you as our valued viewers to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Matinik Atang Musikero. As the starting point of our lesson, let us try first having a recall about the various formulas that we have to master underlying the concept of trigonometric identities. And with this, allow me to introduce them categorically. At first, we have the Pythagorean relations. And then we have the quotient relations, followed by the half angle identities. And we also have the reciprocal relations. Having another category of formulas, we have the double angle identities the co-function identities, the addition and subtraction identities, negative angle identities, and then we also have the supplement angle identities, the sum identities and then for the last category of formulas we have the product identities after enumerating various categorical formulas involving trigonometric identities let us not also forget about the six trigonometric functions underlying the concept of right triangles. Having a reference angle of theta, hypotenuse r, adjacent of x, and an opposite side of y, these are now the definitions of each trigonometric functions. And to start with, we have sine theta equals y divide r. Cosine of theta, we have x divided by r. Tangent theta equals y over x. Cosecant theta, we have r over y. Secant theta, we have r over x. And cotangent theta equals x over y. Since the type of a triangle that we are using is a right triangle, let us also have a recall about the Pythagorean theorem. And Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is always equal to the square of its hypotenuse. That is why we have now the formula for Pythagorean theorem as x square plus y square equals r square. Let us now have one example and that is to prove that tangent x sine x plus cosine x is equal to second x. Actually, in this given example, we have two methods to prove that Tangent x sine x plus cosine x is equal to second x. 
And at start of the solution, let us start first by using the method A. That is by using trigonometric identities. Now, in order to prove that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation, all we have to do is to transform the left-hand side of the equation to be equal to the right-hand side of the equation. But how do we do that? We have to prove that tangent x sine x plus cosine x equal to second x. By considering the left-hand side of the equation, tangent x sine x plus cosine x. Let us not forget to use the quotient relation. We have it as tangent x equals sine x divided by cosine x. By replacing tangent x as sine x over cosine x, Originally, tangent x sine x plus cosine x now becomes sine x over cosine x times sine x plus cosine x. And then simplifying this, we now have sine square x divided by cosine x plus cosine x. With this given left-hand side of the equation, sine square x over cosine x as the first term and cosine x as the second term, we actually need the least common denominator. And it so happened that in this case, their LCD or least common denominator is cosine x. We need now cosine x to simplify the equation. And as we simplify it, the left-hand side of the equation will become sine square x over cosine x plus cosine square x over cosine x. And as we can see that these two terms have common denominator, which is actually now the cosine x. So what do we do? We can actually add both numerators and retain their common denominator. So the equation will go like this. The left hand side now will become sine square x plus cosine square x all over cosine x. But we have to remember and use the fact that sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 for all values of x. That's why we need to replace sine square x plus cosine square x as 1. And because of that, the left-hand side of the equation will now become 1 over cosine x. In order to simplify this expression, we have to recall about the reciprocal relations. And one among those reciprocal relations is that second theta is always 1 over cosine theta. And assuming that x is also the theta, if second theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta, thus 1 over cosine x now equal to second of x. Now, we can already conclude that it is really true tangent x sine x plus cosine x is really equal to second of x. And now by trying to have a review of our solution in this case, as we can see that we have used three categorical formulas under trigonometric identities. First, we use the quotient relation then Pythagorean relations, followed by the reciprocal relations. Somehow, it is very tasky, but what is good is that we did it correctly. 
and we have proven that tangent x sin x plus cosine x is really equal to second x. And now again, by having the same example, again we will try to prove that tangent x sin x plus cosine x is equal to second x, but by using another method. For the solution, we will use another method. We call it as the method B. That is by using trigonometric functions and Pythagorean theorem. To start with, allow me to rewrite the given again, the given equation. Tangent x sine x plus cosine x is equal to second x. As we can see in the equation, there are actually four trigonometric functions involved. First, we have the sine x, and it has a value of y over r, followed by cosine x, which is equal to x over r, then tangent x as y over x, and then finally we have second x as r over x. Then what do we do? We have to substitute all of these to the equation tangent x sine x plus cosine x is equal to second x and then what will happen then to the left hand side of the equation it so happen that tangent x will become y over x sine x will become y over r and cosine x will become x over r second x is actually r over x if we will continue the equation, simplifying it, we're going to have y over x times y over r plus x over r. As a continuation, simplifying the equation will become y squared over xr plus x over r. And then simplifying it again, we will have now y squared plus x squared all over xr. And then, let us not also forget that from Pythagorean theorem, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. As we can see in the equation, y squared plus x squared can be replaced by r squared. So what will happen now to the left-hand side of the equation? y squared plus x squared all over x r will now become r squared over x r. As we can see, both numerator and denominator of r squared over x r possess both r. So we can cancel r from numerator and denominator. So what will happen then? It will become r over x. But r over x is also equal to second x. Since we have already successfully transformed the left-hand side of the equation to a value, and so often that the value is also second x, it only shows that the statement is true. The statement tangent x sine x plus cosine x equals second x is always true. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Matini Katang Musikero. Thank you very much and God bless us all.